Hey, what's up guys? It's a drone or Droster and um, the gameplay quickly is a 30 and 2 free for all on Zoo. Uh, I mean 30 and 4 my bad because I have two different gameplays on the same map. So I just watched an oper Operator Perry uh, commentary. That guy is really um, one of my favorite commentators. The way he, how he's neutral, he never like really gets involved in the community. And he is actually the one who brought me in this community. I remember two years ago in secondary five, uh, the school have the school g gave us laptops my last year of high school. Uh, so each person had a laptop and I was constantly going during my math class on Top Notch Multimedia, their channel, just watch the top five plays. I was just speechless of all the clips. So that's, to be honest, the, the thing that brought me into the whole YouTube uh, video thing. So I'm not here to talk about that, but his uh, commentary inspired me to talk about the difference between Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. Because I know that he really hates Black Ops, even if he was really excited. And he said that, he, he believes that the the game time of Infinity War games is longer than the Treyarch ones. Um, I, really, I didn't really think about that so far, so I'm not really going to talk about that. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about... Uh, why I prefer Black Ops over Modern Warfare 2, and I'm not here. Uh, I'm not. I'm not here to talk about all the bitching about Ghost, One Man Army, Commando. I'm really not here to talk about all the flaws of the both of both games. I'm really here to talk about the whole system. It's not a flaw. It's just personal preferences, and I know that a lot of people prefer Modern Warfare 2 for that. So the reason why I prefer Black Ops than Modern Warfare 2 is the damage of the weapons. AKA stopping power, no stopping power. It seems that it is so hard to do well in Modern Warfare 2 um, because of the stopping power. It seems that it's so hard to get an 11 kill streak compared to Black Ops. Uh, you might have heard at the beginning of Black Ops that many commentators were saying that all the, the all the players with higher gun skill will do very, very well in Black Ops. I, I think that's true. If you check all the the big names like Sandy Ravage with like a, I don't know, 4KD with like a 4 win loss. Um, I would call myself like a, not an excellent player but a good player. Like I know how to, how to play smart, if I can say it like that. And it seems that Black Ops, is, it's just so easy to, to get good scores and to play well. It seems that um, it gives advantage to the good players. Well, it doesn't give advantage. It really demonstrates the different skills of the players like if you're good you're gonna be good but if you're bad you're gonna be bad I know some couple of French guys that just quit Black Ops two months after it came out to go back to Modern Warfare 2 and um, not to be mean or anything but they're not really good like they have 0.8 KDs and they're just getting pawned in Black Ops I'm not saying I'm totally not saying that all the bad players went back to Modern Warfare 2 because that's not true but I'm just saying that, like, it seems that the good players, like, are good and that the bad players are, are bad. Like, there's no, like, advantages. I couldn't name you an advantage that benefits the bad players. Well, death streaks, of course, that is one thing in Modern Warfare 2. But it's really the, the, the time that you die, the, the, the amount of time that it takes for a player to kill you. It seems that with stopping power, like, as soon as guy starts shooting you, he's gonna kill you right now. And... I really don't appreciate that. That's why I cannot stand Modern Warfare 2. I wish I could love it. I spent so many days playing that day. So many months. Um, I wish I could go back and have as much fun. But with Black Ops, I discovered that like I prefer when, uh, when there's no stopping power. And of course, there's no stopping power in Modern Warfare 3. But it's it's the damage of the weapons. Like It seems that when the uh, weapons have more recoil, have less high damage it seems that like th the skill comes out more of the players and, and you can truly see who's good and who's bad as i said as i mentioned like it's really really hard for me to get it's not really hard but it, it's really frustrating to me to get like an 11 kill streak or even a harry in modern for two because it seems that as soon as another player sees you uh they shoot you down like they kill you instantly like in black ops when you get shot you, you know well when you know that you're getting shot you just go to cover, you recover, and then you can shoot the guy. But it seems that in Modern Warfare 2, as I said, as soon as the guy sees you, boom, you're dead. And that's the thing that I dislike the most about Modern Warfare 2. Um, forget the one-man army, forget the commando, forget all the other things that 
are not really, um, not overpowered, but aren't really good about the game, that that's what pisses me off the most. It seems that, like, I cannot, like, express my, my true uh, player skill in that game. So that's pretty much it of Modern for 2. I want, I really want to hear your opinion, guys. Um, I'm really curious of knowing what you guys think. And I know that a lot of players went back to Modern for 2 to play Search and Destroy. That, that's a bit different, but still. So please, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, also about, uh, I want to talk at the same time as this about Modern for 3. I hope that uh, I heard that a lot of people think that Modern Warfare 3 is like Modern Warfare 2, like it feels like Modern Warfare 2. But one thing that I really hope is that the gun damage is not as high if it is had if the, if the weapons had stopping power. So that it has like a fair balance between the Black Ops gun damage and the Modern Warfare 2's gun damage with stopping power, because of course everybody in Modern Warfare 2 runs stopping power. So I hope it has a fair balance, and if it has a fair balance, and if the good players are going to be good and the bad players are going to be bad. Um, I think it's going to be a great game. And of course, I don't think it's going to show as much the the gun skill as in Black Ops. And that's the reason why I think a lot of people are going to prefer Modern Warfare 2. Like the bad players, I, I think, are going to stay more. Uh, like those with like uh, lower KDs and lower stats and lower gun skill. I think they're going to prefer the game because they're going to find things that will help them get better, like death streaks, etc. So I really want to know what you guys think. I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, gameplay. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.